Hey Gemini, what's up? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm coming to you with your mid-month December general love reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is general, won't resonate with everybody out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus. This is general, okay? Again, cross watches, you're welcome. Hello, hello. Switch the roles if it makes more sense. Don't force it to fit. If you want a private love reading, the link is in the description box. And I will be doing an extended reading, how does your partner, okay? Feel about you, what's on their mind, what's in their heart space, their feelings, emotions, what are they not saying, and how they would like to move forward with you. We'll also look at what's going on behind the scenes with your person, Gemini, roadblocks, challenging energies, um, what the outcome will be, okay? So we'll check that out on Vimeo, okay? It will be posted um, right after this reading, okay? Right after I do this video, all right? For December 15th through the December 31st, okay? That's your extended reading. So let's see, what's going on with Gemini? Gemini for mid to end of December, what's going on? If this resonates, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly, Gemini. I get so much love from Geminis out there. I love y'all. Y'all the best zodiac sign. Don't tell anybody that, okay? <laughs> Don't tell the, everybody else, okay? I love y'all the best. Y'all my favorite. All right, let's see what's going on. I'm just joking. I'm joking. All right, Gemini, you and your person, what's happening? Any messages here for Gemini? Clear, concise, accurate messages, please. What's going on, please? What's happening? Oops. Okay, let's see. We got the chariot and the king of wands. Okay. Someone is coming in very, very strongly towards you. I'm getting a lot of passion, desire, lust, and they're not playing Gemini, okay? Because they're coming on the damn chariot, and the chariot moves. The chariot does not look back, okay? There's someone who wants a victory here with you, okay? Um, but I feel like ultimately this is someone, <laughs> you know what? I'm getting a lot of messages. Let's see. Let's get some more information. What happened in the past with this person, Gemini? This person is crazy about you is what I'm seeing, okay? Um, we got the Knight of Swords. So some of you guys have cut this person out or there could have been some sharp communication in the past between you and this person. It could have been a little immature, okay? That's your energy, Gemini. What's on your mind about this person? Whoever's coming in, this is real quick. The Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys are like, I just want to be single. I don't want to deal with you, okay? <laughs> uh, but you still have passion for this person. I feel like this is a this is a shared mutual energy with the King of Wands. I feel both of you guys really do desire and want some kind of um, fun, getting like a lot of flirtatious energy between you guys. Um, but Gemini, you're having fun too, right? You're in a nine of pentacles. This is like, I just, I want to be independent. I'm by myself. I want to be accountable for myself. I don't want no problems, no drama, you know? All right. What's happening in, uh, in this person's energy behind the scenes? Some of you guys may have decided um, that you cut this person out and decided you'd rather be single, okay? You could have been dealing with a king of wands or someone who was like, I mean, charming, good looking, right? I mean, they know they look good and it goes all, it blows up their head, right? Cocky, conceited, that type of energy. And some of you guys are just like, I'm not interested in that. I'm just not. What's in the foundation with this person? We have the Page of Swords came out verse. So your person is definitely um, getting very immature. Okay, they could definitely say things and kind of like give you bits and pieces. You never know what's really going on. You never know where you really stand with this person. Okay, you're dealing with someone who does watch you on, as well on social media. They can have a big social media following. I'm getting someone who attracts a lot of attention. Okay, if you're dealing with like a, a masculine type of energy, they get a lot of females. If you're dealing with a female, they get a lot of male attention. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, um, Male or female, doesn't matter with the king of wands. But what I'm seeing is that your person is watching you. They're keeping an eye on you. There's something about you, Gemini. And I don't know if you're giving them a hard time or you're pushing them away, but they like it. They like it a lot. Ooh, the two of wands. So your person, some of you guys, they've been keeping you as an option, okay? Even if you guys are not communicating or you cut them out, okay? Because maybe they were very immature and that wasn't something that you wanted, okay? Gemini, you may have felt like this person wasn't giving you anything, right? And you decide, you know what? I'm just going to do myself. I'm just going to be by myself and take care of myself, that kind of thing. I mean, I feel like your person has always looked at you as someone that they really perhaps wanted to move forward with, okay? Um, let's see what's coming in. Your person does want... A future here with you or some kind of movement okay 
They may want to just get in your pants. Um, I don't know. Let's see. What's coming into the energy for Gemini? Uh, the Eight of Cups came out. It was sideways, guys. You know, your person don't know whether they want to leave or they want to come, okay? Your person may be having to leave a situation in order to come towards you. Okay. I also feel like your person isn't happy wherever they are. So there's something, there's an energy of someone is, um, you could be dealing with someone who's just very unstable. Okay. They may, um, they, they just lack direction or they can't seem to stay still. They're not grounded. This person could have some commitment issues as well. And that could be making you feel like, you know what? I'm just going to be in this nine of pentacles energy. I'm just going to work on myself. I'm going to work on my home, my family, my, my work. Okay. All right. Let's see. We also have the seven of wands. You guys are blocking this person out. What is going on? Gemini, you're not interested in this person. You guys are giving them a hard time or you, you're taking your, your wand and you're like, be gone. So you guys are just not interested in this person or you're showing them, you're giving them a hard time. The temperance in reverse, this person lacks balance in their life or they may be emotionally unstable here. Uh, they're just not in line with themselves. But I also feel like this person is a very impatient person. I feel like they, when they want to come in, when they want something, they want it, right? And you guys are like not wanting to be fiddle around like a toy. Some of you guys, this person is very, I'm getting like aggressive. I'm getting a lot of aggressive energy right now. Um, and some of you guys just don't like that. You, you don't like to just be an item or, you know, I feel like this person certainly could always get their way and they're used to getting their way and I feel like you guys are standing your power and saying nah I'm not gonna allow that no you know that they may work for other people but not me mm -mm. not for Gemini all right let's see what's up um you guys are standing your power for sure the six of cups came out in reverse so this is a soulmate or someone you had strong ties with maybe a child maybe involved between you guys um but what I'm seeing is that I mean the six of cups here is telling me that in the reverse, you guys are not so hopeful about this person changing or coming back for the right reasons, okay? Some of you guys feel like they, they're coming back for lust or to try to have their way with you. Some of you guys don't trust this person's intentions. Okay, we got the world in reverse. Yeah, there's some kind of cycle here that is stuck or some kind of karmic tie that you guys are just not trusting. The five of swords, this person could have had some drama in the past or brought a lot of conflict to you, to your life, okay? And I feel with the start in reverse, you guys are not hopeful or not trying to manifest this. You guys are kind of giving up on this person. You've lost faith. You've lost hope. You guys are just pulling back. I don't see you guys banking on this person to do right by you or, you know, I just, I just don't get the sense that you guys are interested right now. Okay, I'm getting some blocking energy and um, this person brings a lot of instability and balance to your life. So let's see. Bottom of the deck is the queen of pentacles. Your person could be in a commitment or married or someone is married. All right, let's see. King of wands, Leo Sag Aries. The passion, the desire. I'm getting a lot of uh, sexual chemistry here between you and your person. They may be coming back just for sex. Hey, I'm just saying. All right, let's see. Gemini, Gemini. Why is the King of Wands here? Who is this person? What do they want? Let's break it down. What's this? What do they want? Because they're coming in with a chariot. So this is someone who's coming in really quick um, in pursuit of something, wanting a victory of some sort, okay? We have the Page of Wands and, yeah, passionate communication. Your person may have had options in love. They may have been very confused as to what they wanted in the past. Not saying that they aren't now, but this is someone who perhaps is eliminating their options and they're wanting to come toward you right now, Gemini, okay? This is someone who um, looks at you as someone that they want to pursue and they're taking charge toward that, okay? And your person feels like they can win you. I'm feeling like they, they know, they're very confident that they'll get what they want. And I think you guys don't like that. This person is mighty confident. Oh, yeah. They're hella confident. The King of Wands came out again. Jeez, Gemini. Who is this person? They trying to have their way with you. Why is the Knight of Swords? You guys told them off. <laughs> you spoke your mind. That Knight of Swords is some kind of truth communication. It was very blunt, but it was truthful. What is What happened here with Gemini? Yeah, there was some a lot of communication. You put an ending to that situation, the death. There may have been an ending in the past, okay? Your person may be coming in really quickly. I'm getting you know even some back and forth communication online, social media, email, text, DMs. And ultimately, they're wanting some kind of beginning. The death is in reverse, scorpion energy. This is someone who's not done with you. 
Mm-mm. They're not done with you. Whoever you distance yourself from or you haven't been communicating with in the past, this is someone who's coming in and they're on a mission to get something back up and running, okay? They're not done. They're not moving on. The Nine of Pentacles, you guys are standing in your power. You are looking good. You, your hair is good. You smell good. I mean, your money is right and tight. Okay, what, what is up with this Nine of Pentacles here for Gemini? What What is this? The King of Pentacles in verse. So some of you guys don't feel like this person is commit committal. Okay, they're not. They're non-committal. Okay, you guys feel like this person can't be faithful if they if their life depended on it. So some of you guys are just turned off by this person. You may have felt like they they expect a lot more than what they actually give. I feel like I'm getting like a been there, done that. Some of you guys, um, this is a father figure. Of someone you had some kind of commitment with in the past. I feel like, you know, you're dealing with someone who may have cheated on you or turned their back or didn't respect the boundaries of the connection. Greedy. I'm getting someone who was very greedy, didn't have time for you. But this is someone who's thinking about you very dearly. They can't get enough of you. This is someone who wants to reconcile with you with the Six of Cups here. But I feel, Gemini, you don't because your Six of Cups came out in reverse. So while this person is thinking of all the good times, you're thinking of all the bad. Okay, but your person definitely wants to move forward here with the Two of Wands, wants to take charge here. And the Six of Cups, they can't stop thinking, reminiscing, dreaming, fantasizing about you. And they're, they're drooling over your pictures, okay? They're watching you with the Page of Swords energy, drooling, wanting to have you. I mean, this person is obsessed with you, I want to say. I mean, they're constantly... This is someone who finds you very, very attractive, be careful because this person has like the hots for you. I'm getting like, yeah, what is this trying to come out? Ace of Swords. They're, they're wanting to come to communicate something here with you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? What's this? The Sun. So someone is um, realizing there's some kind of clarity, something being illuminated here about um, a situation where they, they perhaps recently walked away from or they want to walk away from in order to come to you, Gemini. The Eight of Cups. Um, yeah, this is someone who wants to walk away and I feel like they want to come toward you. They want to come towards someone that makes them happy. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. The Emperor is here. You got a strong masculine energy around you, Gemini. There's someone who wants to take charge, move things forward. Like this is someone who's not, not going to be waiting anymore. This is someone who's like, okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. I have a plan. I have a strategy on how we can accomplish this. Uh, and they have a way moving forward. In fact, it's very clear to them what they want. And the sun is here and they want you. The seven of wands for your energy, Gemini, you're blocking them out. Some of you guys are standing your guard. Some of you guys just don't trust this person. Yeah, some of you guys, I mean, I feel like the fool was trying to come out in reverse. There may have been some trust issues here. You guys may be on a new journey or you're just not trusting this person. That they're coming back for the right genuine reasons. Or you're just, some of you guys are just not wanting to take that leap of faith with this person. You're blocking them out. All right, the temperance and reverse Sagittarian energy. Your person, it may be unstable. <laughs> yeah, four of cups. Your person, some of you guys, you feel like this person is unstable. And it's like, I feel like some of you guys, they may have been blocked by another person. There may have been an opportunity that um, came by or that they thought they were going to have. And that opportunity got shut down on them and you feel like they're now coming back to you. So some of you guys are feeling like this person's very unstable, they're unreliable, okay? And they may be only coming to you for the wrong reasons or coming to you because another opportunity fell through. Because there's some kind of missed opportunity in your person's energy, okay? With the Four of Cups here, this is something that didn't work out for them. There's some kind of disappointment. There was some kind of block here in their life and I feel like they're coming to you for that. Some of you guys, they may have went to a third party or a karmic and then that, per that person walked away from them with the Eight of Cups. And now they want to come back to you. Some of you guys just like, uh-uh, I don't do sloppy seconds. Nah, 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 you keep that. Mm -mm -mm. Eight, the Six of Cups in reverse. Again, it could be a child involved, a hierophant. Some of you guys were committed to this person and the Two of Wands came out, but they kept you as an option. Okay, some of you guys, they left you a bad taste in your mouth with the Six of Cups in reverse. You view them as, you know, you love them, you care about them, but some of you guys are just passing this up or just not really interested in what they have to offer or you're questioning it, okay? The Two of Wands, um, you just don't know. What, what is this person, what do they really want, right? You're kind of looking at them, giving them the side eye, like, hmm, right? All right, why is the outcome the world in reverse, and we also got the star here in reverse with the five of swords. So you guys are having a difficult time wanting to heal the situation with this person. You feel like this person doesn't have anything to offer. 
And you feel like if you were to accept their offer, you'd be going back and be, be stuck in a cycle here with the world in reverse. And you guys don't want to do that. You guys are just, I'm getting like that been there, done that type of energy. And you guys are not wanting to explore this opportunity with this person. It's like, you just, there's a risk here, right? There's a risk with this emperor, but they're coming across as a king and an emperor. So I almost feel like, I don't know, guys, I almost kind of trust this person. I really do. I'm, I'm like really scratching my head right now. Your person looks like, I mean, they may be coming across as a little unstable, but they're coming to you with some mature energy maybe in the past they were very immature right they didn't know what they wanted they were up in the air their intentions with you were very unclear right they've always kept an eye on you but i feel like now they're taking charge and with the emperor and the king of wands i mean hey i can't i can't knock them they're doing it the right way all right um why is the star in reverse why do, why doesn't gemini trust this person some of you guys just don't want to heal with this person why is the star in reverse the ace of swords some of you guys you never got the truth from this person some of you guys lack truth or clarity from this person you may have felt like they lied to you about something here some of you guys just have to have communication with this person to get over um some trust issues here i feel like nothing has been clear or your person has not um I'm getting that I have not shed the light on a matter, okay? Now, why is the Five of Swords? There's some drama, conflict here. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they have to approach you. They have to come to you correctly. Because that's your energy, Gemini. You were taking on this Queen of Swords approach. You guys are intimidating as hell, okay? But you're not going to intimidate the Emperor or the King of Wands, okay? Because they know what they want. And no Queen of Swords is going to stop them from taking action here. These, these folks are about action, okay? So whoever this person is, they're coming in full force, okay? Be ready to be taken over, Gemini, okay? Because any reservations you have, any doubts, this person is coming in hard. Okay, let me get another card here because I'm just curious. I'm going to extend this reading. I'm going to look at your person's energy. How do they feel in their heart space? What are their emotions and feelings, all that stuff? How do they want to move forward and what's going on behind the scenes? This will be an extended um, in Vimeo, okay? So check that out. Give me one more card here for the Queen of Swords, Gemini's energy. The Eight of Swords. You guys have been stuck on this person and we got the Nine of Cups. You guys are questioning if this person can make you happy. Mm -hmm. You guys don't want to get overly excited and like wish something here. You know, you don't want to be all in your feelings and then this person lets you down and keeps you stuck and tied. And, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to go through that. Some of you guys are feeling very, you have to guard yourself from this person. Okay. Because you most feel like this person is like wasteful. They come in and they just, they're overindulgent. They do too much. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to extend this reading. I'm going to look at this person's energy a little bit more because I'm, I'm still scratching my head. I mean, we got an emperor and a king of wands. I just don't know why you don't trust him, Gemini. All right, maybe I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I'm not seeing something. Is there something here I'm supposed to know? I'm going to check it out, all right? <laughs> Gemini, I hope this resonated for you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Take care.